Okay, I've got uh, this Raveline uh, 20W50 VR1 racing oil with zinc. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill this up until the dipstick shows proper. All right, let's see how this works. So I have the CSP and it needs to go up under here. And then somehow this guy here gets connected. So let's take a look. here so I decided to put the nuts on the left side that way I can get at it with a box cutter I mean sorry the box wrench for a long day and I'm tighten this down now this one I believe when I get close I can kind of rotate up the up or down the muffler a little bit if I wanted to Here. All right, that's where this is going to sit. Now, let's see where the you look here. What I now have to do is get the um, little support. So there's a support thing here, and that's got to hang, you know, do you want it to go this way, could also go this way, if I do it this way then I've got to, then it'll, yeah, interesting. I actually have to drill a hole into the into this guy, so that's I'm not that thrilled about doing that, but that's gotta be the design. So if I put this in like this, that's gonna be there like that. Put this in here, the other one. This guy has gotta go up so that it's stretched a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mark where I want this to go. You can see here. I went ahead and put this on the outside because otherwise if I stretch it up, it's gonna bump that thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put it up a little higher than, I'm gonna put it right up here somewhere. So I stretch it up and it's gonna pull it up. So that'll be good. Okay. 
Okay. That looks good. See that? So then, I just have to get this through. So I'll go wash it on the other side and feed it through. I don't really want to, let's make sure that that fits. Yep, that fits great. I didn't really want to get under here because I don't have the jack stands totally solid, but get under and feed this. Get under just enough to feed this through. <laughs> there's right, it's right where the, there's a little, uh, there's a, one of those little bendy clips for the, perfect, one of those little bendy clips to hold the wiring harness, which I had temporarily removed the wiring harness, but, so here, this thing's gonna. That's tight now. All right. That muffler is in place. Put the wheel back on. All right, that's on solid. So let's go through the checklist. I've got the exhaust is all in, tightened down, rubber thing. I've got the um, oil is in there. Let me check the oil, actually. I was letting it settle. All right, put the cap on, see if I need any more. So this dipstick reads basically full. So it's, it's about a quarter centimeter shy of full. So that's good. Put the, put the fill cap back on. So at this point, I just need to tighten back up my whew, I need to tighten back up my carb uh, linkages, which I had changed slightly. I need the two wrenches and find them. Put this back on. Oh, actually, I had wanted to lower this and give it a torque with the <clears throat> torque it with the uh, big breaker bar. wheel back in working order. All right, 
Come tap. Good shape. So, I just gotta, getting very close here. <laughs> 